Okay, looks like there'll be another murder again tonight. 10 p.m. Okay, seven now, so that gives me roughly about three hours. Better add it to the list and get to work. Private Eye has you playing the role of a wheelchair-bound detective, observing the street behind his office. It's essentially a hidden object game. You sit at your desk and use a pair of binoculars to spy on the comings and goings of the residents of the street. The stated goal is to catch the silent killer before he can strike again, but there are ten other mysteries to be solved. The game is best played using a gamepad. Left trigger brings up your list of tasks and right trigger brings up your binoculars. You can rotate the left stick to zoom and the right stick to focus. This control scheme takes a little getting used to, but it feels natural enough. Having to adjust the focus adds a little more challenge and complexity to what would otherwise be a game of simply looking around. Hey, Mrs. Rattle's cat. That's the first mystery solved. Ten left. The space that you can see from your window has been created with a lot of care and attention to detail. A clock tower is visible and the game uses this as a time limit for the overall experience as well as a focus for a timed event. The street looks convincing and is populated with people going about their business. It is easy to get immersed in the search for whatever clue you're looking for. Switching back to the room after searching around with your binoculars reminds you that you're not just a disembodied set of eyes, but a person inhabiting a space like a in relation to the street that you're observing. Moments that are. jolt you to that realisation, like your phone ringing, really elevate the experience into something much more engaging than just a Where's Wally book. Found it. Let's get this back to the kids. I can cross that one off my list. Nine left to go. Better find out who Mr. Clinton is. The premise of Private Eye is clearly inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, but to be honest, it doesn't always hold together perfectly. Some of the cases are definitely better grounded in the theme than others. I can understand why I might be investigating the nocturnal activities of a married man, or uncovering rumoured mob activity, but it is not totally clear why a Private Eye would spend time searching for a child's missing ball, or looking for exotic birds. Nor is it totally clear what good it will do me in my wheelchair to simply spot them. This is nitpicking though on what is broadly a very competent and nicely produced demo. Mrs. Clinton. That must mean the gardener is Mr. Clinton. Let's see what's next. I'll come back to that later. Private Eye is a comfortable experience that uses the Oculus Rift well. It does not suffer at all from a lack of positional tracking or motion control. It has good production values with some pretty solid voice acting and is, overall, much more engaging than you might expect a hidden object game to be. It may not have a lot of replay value, but Private Eye is certainly worth investigating. Shit, he's coming this way! 